keeping an eye on the future, and what is needed is what makes Elon Musk the best money player in this world. Taking Tesla's electric vehicle as an example, and comparing it to the world's promise of rising gasoline prices due to war. And now, it could earn $50 billion in revenue per year with Elon Musk's 42,000 satellites in orbit for worldwide internet. Watch this video until the end to learn more about it. Welcome to Elon Musk era. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and more. There is no doubt that SpaceX chief Elon Musk, a billionaire, is launching satellites and establishing high-speed broadband internet for as many people as possible. The billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk is best known for his electric car company, Tesla, his space exploration company, SpaceX, or his stint as a Saturday night live host. Or perhaps you know him only as one of the world's richest men. So perhaps unknown to you is the company called Starlink, which aims to sell internet connections to nearly everyone worldwide via a network of private satellites orbiting high above the planet. Starlink picked up the pace in 2021 after years of development inside SpaceX and after more than $885.5 million in Federal Communications Commission grant funds were secured and released at the end of 2020. Also, a successful three-year period has yielded more than 1,000 satellites delivered into orbit by January. Further, having successfully launched dozens of satellites one year ago, Starlink now boasts more than 2,000 operational satellites orbiting overhead. And in the so-called mega constellation, SpaceX hopes to eventually acquire 42,000 satellites. So the business of Starlink is accelerating as well. Musk's company disclosed in February last year that Starlink served more than 10,000 subscribers. Following an expansion of pre-orders to even more potential customers, the release of a second-generation satellite dish for home internet use, and exploring the possibility of providing Wi-Fi in planes. Musk said that the Starlink has now shipped more than 100,000 satellite internet terminals. According to Musk, additional satellite internet terminals are being sent to Ukraine as a reaction to the Russian invasion. Does this mean that Starlink has gone global? Although the company's services are not at all clear, it does appear that they are on their way. Musk told the audience of the Mobile World Congress that Starlink would be available worldwide by August, except for the North and South Poles, but that regional availability would be limited by approvals from regulators. Meanwhile, a tweet from Musk in September indicated that Starlink was exiting its beta phase in October, indicating that it was expanding and ramping up. Despite this, prospective customers remain on hold while the company receives equipment and begins providing service. However, Starlink is not without controversy. Also, several members of the scientific community are concerned that Starlink's low Earth orbit satellites will impact the night sky's visibility. In the meantime, Starlink's competitors like Viasat, HughesNet, and Amazon Project Cooper have noticed the company's success, sparking regulatory questions and attempt to slow Musk. So, as you look up into the sky, 60 satellites are hurtling towards you. And as I have mentioned a while ago, within a few decades, Elon Musk hopes to launch 42,000 of these satellites, 15 times more than there are currently in orbit today. The satellite is part of Starlink, Musk and SpaceX's global constellation that promises no buffering and near instantaneous internet throughout the world, and will offer low latency, high speed internet at all times. However, experts fear an expensive space exploration might result from it. Meanwhile, in most parts of the world, approximately half of the population is without internet access because most of the options require extensive underground cable networks, resulting in many rural areas being unconnected. However, satellite internet could be available in those areas. Further, satellite internet is normally provided by a bus-sized spacecraft that is launched into orbit around the Earth at a distance of 22,236 miles. At such a distance, satellites can reach areas that the cable cannot. However, because one satellite is meant to serve a large number of users, the data capacity is limited, which means that the connections are slower. As a result, the signal has to travel a long distance, causing lag. In this case, SpaceX's Elon Musk provides a solution, and this is because the Starlink network is an orbiting network of satellites that beam internet to every corner of the globe, regardless of your location. But there are some persuasive elements for SpaceX. Throughout the world, Elon Musk stated that he's just trying to pick up a tiny fraction of the trillion dollar a year telecommunications industry, and the company could make $30 billion to $50 billion per year if he actually manages to pull this off. Meanwhile, Gwyn Shotwell, SpaceX's president, and Musk said that much money could fund the development of Starlink and Starship, as well as SpaceX's Mars launch infrastructure. 
Additionally, as of early October, SpaceX has launched more than 700 satellites into orbit to launch 12,000 satellites over the next five years, half of which will be launched by the end of 2024. Adding another 30,000 to that would bring the total number of satellites circling Earth to 42,000. In low Earth orbit, these satellites will also be much closer to Earth, typically between 200 and 400 miles above it. Thus, connection delay typically associated with the traditional internet satellites will be reduced significantly. Furthermore, as soon as Starlink satellites are in orbit, they will be constantly moving, which is why so many are needed. Thus, to compensate for the fact that your satellite cannot stay in one spot above the Earth, you need numerous satellites in orbit. And as there are many users to be covered at any one time, you need one or more satellites overhead. Further, through laser beams, every satellite will be connected to several others, forming a backbone of the space network. Then you'll need to buy a pizza-sized antenna to get the internet to your home. This is because antennas like this one can direct their beams to whichever satellite passes overhead, so you will remain connected to the internet. It's not without problems though, because Starlink satellites are quite bright. Wanna know why? Do you have any idea about it? Perhaps you can share with us in the comments section below. So, this is because the reflective surfaces of these objects reflect sunlight toward Earth. So, this is because of the reflective surfaces of these objects that reflect sunlight back towards the Earth, producing the illusion of bright moving stars. While this might sound cool, it does have its problems. Moreover, during the night sky, Starlink satellites mainly appear just before sunrise and immediately after sunset, which is the exact time when astronomers are searching for near-Earth objects or asteroids that could potentially strike us. Additionally, as more satellites are launched, the chances of them interfering with astronomers' views increase. The ongoing problems with Starlink could make these types of sky surveys harder to perform and may not allow us to detect near-Earth objects or prevent them from hitting Earth. In addition to obstructing the search for worlds or black holes, the satellite wall may also obstruct the detection of the deadly asteroids. Meanwhile, SpaceX saw that something had to be done and it took action. And what is this about? So, a dark sat was created, meaning that all of the shiny parts of the satellites were coated in a very black and dark substance. In addition, visors were added to protect those shiny parts from the ground. However, none of this will fully resolve the problem unless the satellites are cloaked like the spaceships in Star Trek, a technology that does not exist. However, even if it did, the real issue is much more important. It is a concern that space debris could accumulate when so many satellites are in extremely close, dense orbits around the Earth that increase the risk of satellites colliding with each other or with other satellites. There is a possibility that these crashes would create debris clouds that orbit the Earth for years, decades, or even centuries. By then, other satellites may have been disabled or even crashed into one another, creating even more debris, and this situation spirals out of control in a phenomenon known as the Kessler Syndrome. Once we reach that point, space is no longer safe for humans. Further, Kessler syndromes are extremely unlikely to run away, just to be clear. Nevertheless, the potential consequences of such an event are so great that scientists work very hard to prevent it from ever happening. Additionally, according to SpaceX, its satellites avoid collision by automatically moving out of the way. Nevertheless, dozens of SpaceX satellites have been disabled and cannot move at all, creating an imminent danger. However, SpaceX's plans are also being criticized by those lobbying the FCC to regulate low Earth orbit more strictly. In turn, this could increase costs and make the process of deploying the 42,000 satellites more difficult. Yet the problem extends beyond Starlink. Several projects, including Amazon's Cooper project, OneWeb, China's Hongyan, and other plans to launch global networks of satellites comparable to SpaceX. The following scenario is possible if we all let them have their way with little to no regulation. Within 10 years, 100,000 satellites would encircle our world, raising the possibility of space being blocked off for everyone. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section below. That's all for this video about Elon Musk's 42,000 satellites in orbit for worldwide internet that could gain $50 billion revenue per year. And thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on Elon Musk and his companies, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.